back here with Wobbles. Welcome back for a... What, what about that last match? Last match, you know, I was... I was sold on Chillin not having the guts to start making the comeback, but he did. He just ended up uh, getting bad DI on that last out there. Yeah, that was a bit unfortunate. That's he turned it around. Well, it was it was a case of where he finally found his groove, but it was a little too late. Yeah, this matchup, I'm guessing Battlefield is going to be the uh, final pick. I'll oh go no, Battlefield not Whoa. this time. We've been seeing it constantly. It's just a safe bet for most people. But it wouldn't surprise me if Vans isn't comfortable with Ganon living until 180%. Well, of course. And Fountain of Dreams is going to benefit him because Ganon can't hide around the platforms like the smaller characters can. So if he gets his grinder with the down smash, it's such a big turnaround. It's a huge resource and you don't want to waste it. Yeah. And I feel like also, you were just talking about uh, Kage surviving for a long time. I feel like uh, the reason Little England was managing to do well against Kage is that he was completely negating that. Yeah, he was going he out there uh, when Kage was like at 100% and doing his down B shtick. And so Little England was just saying, you know what? Nah, I got a down air. Yeah. And in this case, we've got Peach. I wouldn't be surprised if he wants the, the fact that Fountain of Dreams edges are a little closer to the blast zones than other levels. Right. So he's going to want to use that, try and pin him to the edge, and then kill him with his neutral airs. Right, and uh, Peach is definitely one of the best characters at utilizing the platforms on uh, FOD. They're, yeah. they're at a really good height for her, especially when they start getting a little closer to the main stage. Yeah, she can tickle through it with down airs. She can do way more than tickle you with down smash. Yeah. And if Vance's <laughs> DI is on point, then he's going to enjoy the high ceiling on FOD, keeping him alive from backers and forwarders. Uh, as for Kage's part, um, he loves to work the up air, and he loves to work his backers and forwarders around platforms. Of course. And, and I think the, the configuration of platforms is going to let him do that. So it's really going to be a war of who can get the other guy in the air because neither of them are particularly good at getting down against one another. Of course. It's, they're both... Uh, Ganondorf isn't super floaty, but he's still kind of slow in the air. Mm -hmm. So if he can if he can get away at a range where he's able to forward air, come down with his aerials, then he's good. But it's always a gamble for him to throw out his down air when he descends on someone because it's got a long wind-up and a long cooldown. Right. Uh, another thing uh, with this matchup is that neither of them is necessarily good at getting away from whiff air from areas in the air to make them whiff. So that's also going to be a big part of the game. All right, here we go. Van starts on the top platform, which <laughs> that's already a bad position for him to start taking the fourth player slot. Yeah, but he ends he ends up eating an aerial or two. Ooh, Kage working the jabs. Doesn't want to let Vans touch down and start CCing. Otherwise, he'll regain his momentum. Vans manages to get a turn up. Oh. Kage catches it. Try to set up his yeah, offense. Gets, gets the heck away from that platform. He does not want to eat anything stupid. He doesn't want to suddenly pick up 40% for no apparent reason. You can survive all you want, but you are 40% of 40%. Right, Kage, good up air out of shield. Vans regains control pretty quick with that dash attack. All right, yeah, Kage took the start pretty convincingly, but now Vans has worked his way back. But again, Kage should live for a while. Oh, jumps the gun on that up air. Had a pretty free hit. Nice jab from him. Had a nice little option select he had going there. And really good bait right there. That down air said, hey, I whiffed an aerial. Fall through with the, with the up air to finish it. Good choice by Vans. A lot of Peaches might have gone for a down smash or just a hit, but he had the presence of mind to float behind him. And it's set, it's set up yeah. taking the stock for him. Yeah, Kage doesn't live past 150, and that's that's a big deal for Ganon. He's a guy who has to take a lot of hits to get him. So. I guess that down air is going to get the chase now. He already committed to going up to the platform. Yeah, we're seeing Kage's control around the platforms right now. He's using FOD to his advantage. Both players have things they like about it, so that's why they struck here. The spacing by Kage on that forward air, excellent. And a really nice back air. Peach gets pinned against the edge, and that blast zone is not far away. She's really vulnerable on her ledge hop, too. That was kind of a not the best option there by Vance. Close link doesn't quite get it. Kage, again, using the jabs to regain control on the ground. He's got a bit of a lead. He's looking for all the extra credit he can. Nice up air. Really slick with that. Up air does start and reaches with that punch. Aggressive edge guards from Kage, as, as always. As usual, and nobody's watching out. They're just anticipating uh, a more defensive style of Ganon, I guess. And 
I'm not sure why he hits them a lot. Uh, not, for, not from this warrior. Yeah, those quick platform falls. He's really enjoying the use of FOD's platforms. It's looking like the stage pick is working out for Kage a lot better than for Vans. This is nice shield stab. Down throw back air. Vans doesn't quite DI it how he needs to, but he manages to live. Gets back on the stage. That should be it. Almost. Nope, that high ceiling is working out for him. That should be it. Watches there out for the first forward goes. air. Gets hit by the second swing. You know, one aspect of Kage's game plan that I've been really enjoying seeing is on his edge guards, what if he if they get over him and down to the stage, he runs right at them and hits them with the dash attack because of that backwards angle it sends them at. Set up it keeps setting up more and more edge guards each and every time. I, I feel it's such an an underplayed part of his uh, edge guard game. Yeah. Really, really strong. Shores himself up. And even then, when he missed the one fair, when he was facing towards the ledge, he put he put in the jab. He, he covers for any misses that he makes very, very well. Yeah, and Janin's jab, <laughs> Janin's, Janin's jab, <laughs> Janin's jab comes out so quick yeah. uh, that you, he's got such reach too. He Kage's really good at keeping you out. He makes you want to go in on him, and then there's that little lightning fist. It just pops you in the face. Exactly. And then suddenly you're hesitant, and then he starts reaching. He's got a really good feel for how his opponent perceives his own control of space. And, and it's extremely hard to punish. Like, even if he misses it, even if he doesn't hit you with it, uh, not very many characters have options that can get in Ganon's space and actually punish that. Yeah, they need to have the ground mobility because not many characters can compete with just the sheer range. Peach isn't one of them. She's She works the turn-up game, and she does a great job of edge guarding him when she gets him low. And I think in that case, if Vans had been able to start working the platforms better, Kage always had control of them. But if he'd been able to, he might have been able to get that mileage that he wanted to out of the down smash. Us commentators are up here texting. Sorry. Reading our phone. No, I've been doing it all day. <laughs> just uh, that people not talking to me about room checkouts and whatnot. It's just a... Uh Business is business. Yeah. Vans really debating his counter pick options. Yeah, he's... Uh, have it. counseling with uh, Swift Base. You can't, uh, can't really see him up there, but uh, Swift Base is right there off the mic. Uh, sorry, off the cam. I do wonder yeah, what I'm could he go with? Because he's he's got it rough. This matchup does seem kind of tough for Peach, from because survivability benefits Ganon, well, and he hits so hard that it doesn't help Peach out as much as she wants. No. Not much room. Ganon can choke her out and get the get back airs and up airs and dominate her on platforms. I'm thinking about FD for Vans. I'm thinking FD, too. Kage's shown just total dominance with platforms, but Vans will get a lot of room to play with, and if he can get control, then he'll be able to convert it there. What is... And it's conceivable that Vans is going to... What? Vans is switching. He goes for... Intriguing. Intriguing. Boy Scout Young Link looking for a camping trip in the forest of dreamlands. <laughs> He's roasting marshmallows. What's he doing? He's got him on a oh, stick. Wow. An offensive young Link, who would have thought? But the woods are alive with horror stories of Ganondorfs that hunt little children. <laughs> oh, the oh, there dip. It is. Deep down, Bumped Ganon up. does not care. The bomb didn't explode. Yeah, Ganon, he, he knew that Vance was going to want to start pulling projectiles, and from the very start, he hunted him down. And we're looking at an encore. Nasty oh. stuff. Young Link is not heavy. 53% is a big deal. Ganon is barely scratched compared to him. Oh, and wow. yeah, he's, oh. he's riding that wave. Almost got that edge Vance guard. showing some combos. But you know what? Oh, the Dreamland pick. You know, he wanted the room to run, but is he going to be able to kill him? That's a good question. He's barely getting into the magnifying glass as it is just off those down airs. And yeah, he's... He's poking him, but I don't know if I don't know what good it's doing. Like every time Kage makes it back, it's the potential for him to kick him in the face again. So far, this is this is all fine by and Kage because there, that's all he needed. Yeah, we're looking. There we go. There's a rerun from Axe versus Kage getting the stage spike off the recovery. Oh. Vance finally takes his first stock, but Two, you know what? 211%. I think, I think Kage's up air is just too good at canceling out Young Link's maneuverability. I don't believe this was a wise choice. The the big range on that attack, the fact that it covers all of Young, Young Link's best yeah, aerials. Young Link has to keep him out for so long, but Ganon hits him twice and all the work is evened out. 
Right. The difference of uh, how attrition favors Ganondorf. Kage opts not to leap off the level in a fit of bravery. But it doesn't matter. He gets his Thunderfoot, gets the back air. This is... Vance doesn't have the recovery option. Oh, he gets his bomb, and he gets a punch for his trouble. This is Ganon way too, dominating. Way too easy for Kage right now. the best counter pick choice. Going to throw him, get the oh. bomb damage. Hashtag brings him closer to the ledge. He's going to go down at him. He yep. dips down, and that's it uh, for Vans. Vans. A very, probably one of the shortest <laughs> Young Link Dreamland matches you're going to see in your life. Vans looks extremely disappointed with himself and his choice and how he played that. Kage pumping his fist at the crowd to get his Warrior fans going. He's getting pretty hype. He is feeling pretty good about his performance here in the loser's bracket. Uh, probably trying to get some steam back after that loss of Little England, which he, yeah. he was probably surprised by. Last match in the melee bracket, Little England. All right. Now we have our last match of the melee bracket. 